We will now wrap up our media availabilities for today with uh, Kyle Bush, driver of the number 18 Skittles Toyota for Joe Gibbs Racing. Thanks for joining us today, Kyle. Sure. We'll go ahead and open it up for questions. Please raise your hand and we'll get to you as soon as possible. We'll start right here with Jeff. Jeff Gluck from jeffgluck.com. Um, since you got to drive all three vehicles in one weekend last week on the same track, it seems like you would be in a position to be able to compare what they feel like. Because everybody's been speculating, oh, it kind of drives like a truck or whatever. What does the new package feel like? Is it closer to Xfinity or truck now that you've gotten to drive both? Uh, to me, my comparison's always been closer to trucks than the Xfinity cars. Uh, the older Xfinity cars say... Um, uh, back before the co the COT Xfinity cars, so whatever the Koi cars were, um, I don't remember what year those were, certainly 09, but I don't remember when it switched, but those cars resemble a little bit closer to what the Cup cars are um, right now, just with the, the big spoilers and the reduced power and things like that, that um, the feel that you get and how you drive those and how hard you drive those um, through the corners and how you try to keep it as close to wide open as possible, that's kind of... Um, you know, the, the similarities that I'm seeing. We'll go in the back with the blue shirt. Uh, Sam Brennan, Blaze Radio. <laughs> Saw yesterday Russell Westbrook rocking your uh, M&M's racing jacket. What did you think about that? I don't know whether he's a fan or if that's just a fashion statement, but either way, he looked really good wearing it, so I appreciate that. And then also uh, saw you guys in Brexton were in, at the dunes again. How did uh, this trip compare to last time you guys were out there? How is he uh, coming along? Yeah, it was fun. Um, super fun. We went on uh, hour long rides, hours long rides, and uh, he enjoyed every minute of it. So, you know, certainly um, uh, I left him home for a couple of them because the boys wanted to go on some 10 out of 10 rides, you know, where it's it's a bit harsh and uh, and rough. And um, so he he's a little too small for those. But uh, the rides that he was able to go on and, and mom went on as well, too, were, were pretty fun. So, um, you know, it was a good experience. He's he's loving it. Each time we go out there and, um, you know, getting more and more accustomed to it. We'll go down here in the front to John. John Herverlin, New Mexico Motorsports Report. So your wife tweeted the photo of you guys on Camelback yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, Brexton's like, he's not a baby anymore. Like, how much longer are you going to be, like, tossing him up in the air after winning? Like, he's going to, are you going to do it as when he's a teenager? Like That's why I work out, man. You know, got to keep going to keep going for him. But, um, yeah. Yeah, throwing him up as a teenager, that'd be pretty funny. Um, <laughs> he'll be throwing me up by then. The uh, just, I mean, he has certainly grown up a lot over the course of the last uh, year and a half, especially. And it's been super fun to get him out. And uh, he, he doesn't quit. I am, and neither does his mom. So uh, it's always off doing something, off to the next thing. And, you know, when, when we're at home, he's got other play groups that he goes to and karate and things like that. So he's... He's got something to do about every day, so he's pretty uh, pretty versatile in about everything right now. We'll go to Bob. Uh, Bob Hockris, Fox Sports. Is the increase in uh, speeds in the cup cars due to increased downforce or different tires? I think increased downforce. Just, um, you know, the speeds. Anytime you put downforce on cars, you're going to go faster. So uh, I'm not sure what the tire differences are from last year to this year. I, I, I've heard that the compound on the rights is actually harder. So... Um, you know, I feel as though that the speed comes from the on throttle time and the grip and the, the amount of speed that you're carrying through the mid corner, um, that, uh, that just keeps the speeds higher all the way around. We'll go all the way to the back to Devin. Devin Henry, Sports 360 AZ. If I recall, you were pretty good when you were a youngster in the Xfinity Series. Now you're a teammate with another one, Christopher Bell, who finished behind you in practice. What's the dynamic like working with Christopher Bell when you're in the Xfinity Series? Uh, he's good. You know, super, um, super attentive and, um, you know, certainly looking for anything that he can do to get better and pick up on and things like that. So uh, after practices, you know, he's coming over in my hauler or whatever and kind of picking my brain and things like that. Uh, last week, certainly, uh, he ran really good last week, was right on me there at the end and um, had some good race and some good battle kind of going on. And then uh, this week as well, too, you know, so he's certainly um, wanting to get better. I know that he knows where his next step is to try to get to the Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series. And uh, to do that, you know, he's going to he's going to be competing against me six more times this year. I'm sure he's going to want to beat me um, and 
to have the opportunity to to have him do that won't be fun on my behalf, but uh, certainly will be for him. Go right here to Reed. Uh, Reed Spencer with NASCAR Wire. Um, you and a number of drivers have said the tire is harder. Goodyear says it's um, designed to wear more and run cooler. Can it be both? Um, I don't know how you can have a harder tire that wears more to run cooler. So, um, I, I again, like I said, I didn't. I don't know. That's just what I heard that the compound was harder on the rights. So. Um, you know, as far as the tires go and, and what they brought here, certainly I feel like we're, um, I mean, if I had to be picky and choosy, which typically I am, then I would say that we're on too hard of a tire, but that's every single week we would probably all agree to that, uh, as a collective group of the drivers. So, um, you know, that's no fault of theirs. Just, um, they're trying to obviously be on the safe side and make sure that, um, you know, they're, that the race is not their problem and that it's our problem. We'll go down here to the front to Pat. Pat to NASCAR.com. I was talking to Kevin Harvick earlier, and he said that your relationship over the years has evolved into like a healthy rivalry with mutual respect, but that he still enjoys beating you more than anybody else. <laughs> Is he that guy for you? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, there was certainly a time where um, Harvick and I, we probably both – would agree that if neither of us showed up at the racetrack anymore, that we would totally be okay with that. Um, but now it's kind of resurfaced a little bit differently where I feel as though we feel like when we get to the racetrack, we know we'd much rather be able to beat each other. And, and we've done it way more respectfully over the course of the last, I don't know, uh, 2014 probably since then. Um, you know, so I don't know if that was just his move to SHR and the relationship with that I had with Tony and Tony kind of telling Kevin like, Hey, give him some slack or whatever. But it's definitely come more from his side, um, than, than my side, as far as the, um, the friendliness, I guess you'd say. So, um, it's nice to be able to have that relationship with guys in the garage area. You don't have to be friends with them, but you do know that you have to respect them. You do know that you have to have an opportunity to go out there and race door handle to door handle or bumper to bumper and know that you're not going to get wrecked. And, um, Kevin and I have that, that going right now so hopefully we can keep that going that way and um you know there's some others out there that could certainly learn a few things are there any final questions for kyle we'll go to lee and then we'll finish up with jeff lee spencer racing boys .com. did he really offer to give you a hug after last week's race i didn't hear him but i heard somebody afterwards tell me about that so um i didn't hear him and i didn't see him so my blinders were were on i was seeing red We'll finish right here with Jeff. I guess I'm I'm having trouble understanding what this race is going to look like because if it's so Why much... worry about it? <laughs> Why do you have to dwell about it? Just turn on the damn television come Sunday and watch the damn thing. I want to know. I want to like Don't understand. predict the future because when you're wrong, then you look like a moron. <laughs> and when you're right, what do you get to do? Gloat to everybody that you were right? Be like, I called it. <laughs> whoop de damn do <laughs> That's fair. Do you have anything else? No, that's it. Okay. All right. With that, thank right. you, Kyle. You got it. Good luck this weekend. I don't know what it's going to be, okay? I don't know. I don't want to know. Let's just race it out.